Good afternoon. Today I'd like to teach you how to make a letterhead in Microsoft Word. First thing we're going to do is open up Microsoft Word. Okay? So we're going to open up Word. Open up a blank Word document. Alright? Once Word is open, we are going to just simply double click on the top and we're going to make a letterhead in here. So first thing you do when you make the letterhead is you want to go to get your brand information. I'm going to go straight to my company website. Or anyone can go to any company website for that matter. So we'll go straight to the internet and I go straight to my website now here are all of my my stuff my graphic design all of my things alright here's a here's my logo I'm gonna right click copy image on my website I'm then gonna go sorry let me show this so you can see it back down to Microsoft Word open it up I'm gonna right click and hit paste or I can hit control V so I'll right click and hit paste now I've just pasted my logo in my letterhead and it's on the top so when I come over to here I could also click this and it's not centered I want this to be centered so I'll click this right click it go to text wrapping in front of text now this can go almost anywhere freestanding be careful don't put it outside of the header this dotted line represents the header and that little definitive line underneath that you just saw it just shows that it's centered that green one what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Actually, I'll leave that up there, and I'll make this a little smaller, and I'm going to just put it right up about there. That's fine. Underneath, you click away, and there it is. That's how it's going to look. I'll double-click up here on my header again. I'm then going to go to Home, and I want to center my words. So I'm going to put Web Designer SEO and graphic design uh, oops I spelled designer wrong sorry about that R. web designer SEO and graphic design so I'm gonna press enter why did I spell designer wrong sorry designer press enter and bring your letterhead up bring this up just a little bit more maybe I want to put a phone number under here so I'll hit backspace and bring up the words again all right, I'll center them again. I'll bring my name up just a little bit more. Web designer, SEO. And now, click away, and that's how it's going to look. Let's get a little closer. Move this over a bit more. Rawr. There we go. That's centered. And this is centered as well. SEO, there should be another line in here. There you go. Now, underneath, I want that phone number. So I'm going to press Enter. So it's going to be 516 eight six three five eight three and I will also put an email address and at the bottom I'm gonna put the company website so the email address will be D I N O um you know R I E S E at Gmail A I L dot com there you have it and if you hit spacebar it becomes an active um, email link alright so that's that so we can double click on the top again and if you don't want it to be an active link you could right click on it and you could remove hyperlink and it's a regular link alright now that's fine at the very bottom though this is called the footer go to the very bottom double click oh sorry let's get out of the header we can start typing whatever it's fine now let's go to the footer there is the footer. You got to go to the bottom and collect the footer. I'm going to go back to the internet. I'm going to get uh, my logo one more time. I'll get the smaller one up here. Copy image. Go back to Microsoft Word. Paste it in. Control V. I'll center it. It won't move unless you click on either this thing. Layout options, which lets you go uh, behind, in front or behind text. It doesn't matter. Behind text you could do as well. I'll move this over. It'll give me the green dotted line and tell me it's centered. I'll come under here, but when you double click off, there it is. Now, when I come back down, oops, I'm back in my footer. I want to backspace. I want to uh, home, center it, and I want to put www.dinoreese.com. I will then take the, you know what? I want the logo above the URL. So I want the URL lower. It's fine. And now I'll take the 
the logo itself. Sorry. Click in here. Oh. Struggling a little bit. There we go. Let's right click, put this in front of text. In front of text. You can always grab it. It's a good rule of thumb. It's this way it's never behind anything. In there. So, there's the logo, there's the website, and there's the header and all the information you would want in your header. Also, you could write whatever you want over here. It's never going to be in the way of anything. Also, as you get further down the pages, if you press enter, you're going to notice that as I go further down and make more pages, it's made my head my footer and my header is on every single page. So you can never lose your header and footer and once you've created it you've basically created a template and there you have it so there's the header uh, which has the logo the description of services the contact information and the email address and on the bottom I always put a website or something you could put the website up top and honestly you could put anything you wanted to to brand yourself up here okay thank you so much I hope that you brand yourself and you're able to, let me get out of that, sorry. I hope you guys are able to brand yourselves for this.